Um, it's, it's going really good. I got a lot better at identifying um, the patterns. Okay. I just have to get better at finding the best entries. Okay. So any other member who have any suggestion or who have any confusion? I applied to the things that were going as in the first lecture. Okay. And yeah. The next, the next two one are like still pending, but it feels like uh, prior to all this stuff, I was just uh, like I don't know how much like, how 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 I should do. Like this is really good. Okay. 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 So uh, day by day, step by step. Your level will be increased in the sessions because it's still only I have shared only three days. I think three days we have worked, and still there are so many topics are remaining. We will talk on each and every topic, and I will clear each and everybody. Okay. Yes, yes. Muhammad Fawaz, tell me about yourself. How your your trading is going on? Yes, sir. I uh, I got a lot better. Okay. than before okay means uh, the way of understanding the way of thinking and the way of trading is changed right yes yes i think uh, more logically when uh, when it comes to trade now okay so now i'm going to tell um, to everybody when you are thinking about the market where you will be stuck means your any concept is not clear if when you are reading the market and every step, every candle you are able to read means every concept is clear. Where you are struck, where you are unable to understand, then don't think that you are missing something. No, there is any concept which you don't know. Okay, so when you will know about all concepts which are necessary, then you will read each and every candle and its reason. Right? Yes, no, I'd say. Yes. Okay. Any other member who have any confusion? No, sir. Uh, uh, hello, sir. Yes, brother. Parkash. Uh, sir, I have a confusion on that strong and weak SNR actually. Okay. So you have a confusion on the weekend, a uh, strong SNR. How to identify or how to draw? Uh, in the first class, we have hmm. means we have green candle and week long. Okay. But that yes, that play rules in SNR or what, sir? Yes, yes. Or we have to check only. Look at own, yes. Look at here, look at. Yes, yes. When we are drawing any SNR level, we require the yes, two sir. candles, right? right we sir. require the two candles. Now, when we are requiring the two candles, so if we named the candle, it will be one, it will be two, okay? Okay. It will be one, it will be two. 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 Okay, if your candle number one is strong, the resistance is strong. Okay, okay. Don't look at the candle number two. Even this is the weak candle, right? Okay, sir. Huh? But it does not mean the level is not strong. If the candle number one is strong, then this resistance is strong. That's why it's a reversal, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So here, candle number one, candle number two. Candle number one, candle number two. If the uh, candle sir, number sir, one sir, is sir. strong. Uh, this, this candle number one, red candle, this. Mm -hmm. This have a lower wick, sir. Mm -hmm. What can we call this candle, sir? Weak or strong? This one candle? Yes, sir. The body is greater than the wick, means the candle is strong. Okay, okay. That was my doubt, actually. Sir. Yes. If the wick, body uh, if the body is smaller than the wick, the candle is weak. 
if the body is greater than the wick the candle is strong Strong. Even it's yes, a strong sir. or it's a weak. So this is a weak candle because the lower wick is greater than the body. Body. This is a weak candle because there are both sides. There is a wick, right? And uh, previous green candle is strong. This is a strong candle. Yes, sir. But right, sir. Okay. in if there is an upper rejection in the green candle. and the upper rejection is greater than the body or equal to the body then it's a neutral neutral yes sir if there is no wick it's a strong if in case if there is a wick but this wick is not greater than the body this is a strong right strong sir? right sir right yes. sir uh, you need to circle on that uh, red candle neutral candle uh, this is a neutral the No, 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 uh, after the after the green strong one, you just do. Uh, where? Right now, right. This one, this one, uh, in the middle. This uh, after the uh, what thing? Uh, this uh, bullish pin bar. This is the candle, and this is the candle, right? Yes, 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 yes. Red one, red one, red one. Yes. Uh, this one is. Uh, we will catch it as a weak uh, SNR or strong SNR. This will be the weak support. This will be the weak resistance. Ooh. So that means if the wick is uh, almost uh, higher, that yes, means that's because you now. can see, you can understand. The candle have upper rejection, the candle have a yes. lower rejection, the candle have a body, right? Yes. So lower rejection means the sellers felt buyers control the market. Okay. Yes. The upper rejection means again sellers control the market. now okay. but this is a oh, sorry this is a red candle i'm i'm getting it wrong buyers failed buyers failed and sellers control the market because it's a red candle right yes and then again buyers entered again buyers entered okay. but even the candle is red even the candle is red so yeah if it is a plus if it is a minus because the sellers again control then this is a plus right yes yes so minus and plus if we subtract what remaining neutral body that will be the neutral candle right yeah. oh okay okay hmm got okay. i have yes 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 everybody have a right to ask the question one by one After... you can ask <clears throat> What will happen if there is a confluence After with another level? The... Okay, Oppu, Oppu, you are talking that what will be happen if there is a confluence? Confluence means in which sense? In the sense of support uh, and resistance? In the sense of yes, candlestick reading? Uh, confluence with support and resistance. The confluence level is this one. If there is a resistance level or support level, right? Yeah. If the trend line is breaking. This point is a confluence level. Where uh, it crosses. I mean, no, I mean as if as a there is a recent S N R that okay. is like weak S N R. Okay. But previously it's hitting now another zone of a strong S N R. Okay. What if that? So, for example, for example, there is a weak resistance. Okay. Yes. And. Uh, Before previously, yeah. Uh, for example, here. Yeah. Okay, yes. I, I'm, I'm taking. I'm, I'm drawing just as per your sense, right? Yeah. So this is a strong one, right? Yes. And then here I saw that is a weak one. Okay. Yeah. This is a weak. Okay. Yeah. Now the price is breaking the weak. and closing under the resistance level which is strong right okay in case the recent snr is a weak recent snr is a weak weak and also this is a new snr which is this is a first time touch yeah then there will be sell sell entry yes but this level is already tested for example there is a wick this one is a wick okay which is tested one time 
okay okay now this time this snr will not work the price will continue oh got it if it yes 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 so we are taking more, all sir, the time more. we are taking all the time the recent snr which is not tested got it if it is tested then chances are 50 50 But more work. chances, it will continue. Okay. Less chances, it will reverse back. Because one time already it's work, right? Yes. The second time, then it will not work. Got it. Or maybe sometime if it's a consolidation, then it will not work. Now, again, one understand. For example, before this consolidation, there was a trend. There was a trend okay 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 before the consolidation there is a trend this consolidation how many candles have reserve e for now oh no inside this uh, one two one, three, four, three, five, four five. five then it will reverse right okay in case it's eight or 10 candles this consolidation have eight or ten candles then it will continue right. why uh, it's been ranging there for a long time i'm telling you okay the impulse wave have eight to ten candles right okay the correction yeah. wave have four or three candles yeah. then again impulse have eight to ten candles right got it the base So when I talking about this base, this is the base. A consolidation is the base, right? Yes. The base, if it is a five candle or four to five candle, then this will be the wrong. Uh, this will this this breakout will not be the a true breakout. Mostly it will reverse back. But in case, if you see that there are eight Longer. to ten candles or more than ten candles, right? Now, if it is breaking down or it's breaking up, then it will never reverse back. It will continue. Understood. So we will learn about it in the oh. congestion, in the volume and congestion section. So as I told okay. that, if something you did not understood or you are confusing, means the concept is still missing, right? Yes. Don't worry. Everything will be clear, right? Okay, sir. Uh, hello, sir. Yes, brother. Uh, can you please show the market? Okay. Yes. Doubt there, sir. Yes, yes. I that's why before starting the lessons, it's my habit. I'm always uh, clearing the doubts every second or third day. Okay. So first, I will clear the doubts. even if yes. there will be no time we will never take the class but the doubt must be clear yes now ask the question uh, the mouse pointer at the mouse pointer sir here yeah, right uh, okay no sir uh, left on the left side left side left side left side sir left side the, uh, this is my left side or this left is my side, left side, side. yes sir Uh, Look at one is the left. Right side, sir. One is the left. Uh, my uh, uh, this this left. this one right. One one is left. One is left, sir. Okay. Yes. Sir. Okay. So here this 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 green candle, sir. Yes. This, this big one? big green candle. Okay. This no, one. No no no. Just left side. Just just left side, sir. Just left side. Just left side. Just left side. Down down. Yes. Sir. This 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 green. This. Yes. In board. After after that after that two green candle the big green candle. Okay, this one. After that this this one sir this one this one we can call it a mm -hmm. strong green candle. This is a weak. After that the green candle. Look at I'm I'm drawing. This is a weak. This is a strong. This is yes, a sir. strong. This is also strong. neutral. Strong. This is yes. Also neutral. Okay. Because upper rejection okay, is equal or greater than the body so oh, this fine, is not fine a, fine sir fine this is not a strong candle 
Okay, sir. After that, the green candle. Is that strong? Is strong? Is strong? Is strong? Weak? Is strong? Is strong? The... Is strong. Yes, sir. The strong candle, the big candle. Hmm. After the breakout, hmm. uh, it did not reverse, sir. This one, right? This one, yes, sir. This that one, one not doubt, sir. Right? Why this can not reverse, right? After the yes, sir. Okay, look at you. Yes, sir. Huh? Look at. In this range, how many candles are there? Is it eight? Yes, eight, sir. So what I told? If you find the minimum eight candles to ten candles, then a breakout happen. It means it it needs to be continued, right? So, sure. yes. Okay, okay. Wow. Yes. No, no. Please continue. I'm. I mean. Okay. So number one thing, if it's a eight to ten candles, then they need to be continued. Now the another reason. Another reason, after the strong candle, who entered? Sellers. Sellers. They have a complete chance to continue, right? But this strong red candle turns into weak. Why? It rejected from this support, right? And this support, how many have a rejection? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three, eight. Four, five. Eight rejection eight. swaps making sense. Eight rejections are making sense that at this bottom, at this block, the buyers are too much strong, right? And they yes, don't yes. want to leave the sellers from this level. That's why when the buyers entered, then after this rejection, you can see the strength of the buyer. It's very strong. It's very strong. Strong means they are released from this area. They are released from the consolidation. Once the, they are released from the consolidation area, they will continue. Immediately, the next candle will not reverse. The second candle will reverse. Because okay, sir, fine. why the second candle will reverse? Now it's a pattern. Which is this pattern? Three outside, up. up. Three outside up will give you the retracement. retracement and then the yes. price will move up. If yes. Mostly, this pattern here, you will find the outside bar or you will find the abnormal engulfing candle. That is a sign of reversal again. So we will come on it. Okay. I will, I will tell about these type of patterns, which are the abnormal pattern and which are the true pattern. Okay. So then you will understand why the price reverse back here and why this is trying to continue. Market have a structure. Market have what? Structure. When it's moving down or moving up or making a consolidation, it's trying to complete the structure. Structure. For example, if I ask you one question, in your hand, there is a book. In the book, what is the story? Okay. In the story, how you got the sense from the statements, right? In the statements, there are sentences. What? Then in the sentences, you will find the phrases. In the phrases, you will find the words. Okay? In the words, you will find the letters. So this is a structure. This is the structure. The combination of the letters, what will happen? Word. The combination of words, a phrase. The combination of phrases, it makes a sentence. A combination of sentence, it's like a statement. A combination of statements make a story. A story make show you the book, right? So everything have a structure. Same thing, there is a story. In this chart, what is this one? It's a story that the price wants to be moved down. There is a downturn. Who is stronger? Sellers are stronger. They're trying to move down. Now you need to 
read the statements, you read the sentences, phrases, candlestick patterns, single candlestick, everything in this train, the candlestick is pointing you in a downtrend or not. All these candles, what's showing you? A downtrend, a seller pressure, right? All these green candles, if you see, this candle showing seller pressure, seller pressure, seller pressure, seller pressure, seller pressure, seller pressure. A lower rejection means seller's pressure, seller's pressure, seller's pressure, seller's pressure, seller's pressure. The seller's pressure, what confirms you? The downtrend is strong. Who is weak? Buyers are weak. So we must be able to read the pressures. The candles are showing you the information. That buyers are trying, but they are failing. Trying, failing, trying, failing. Means the sellers have a too much supply. Once the supply will be end, the end is this is a candle. You can see this candle is bigger than the last five candles. Am I right? A candle, a big candle, if it is bigger than the last five candles, it's an exhaustion. The trend will be changed. This candle, is it a greater than the last five candles? Am I right? Yes. The price will move up. The price will move up in a running trend. For example, the price is moving down, down, down. Immediately, if you saw a big candle, if this big candle size is bigger than the last five candles means the reversal will be happy but not at the first point at the end point means a sale 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 big sale buy 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 big buy this is exhaustion and reversal of the trend but this is not this is not this is a, is a beginning this is what beginning this is a beginning this is an ending so ending and beginning you need to understand so these all topics will be covered slowly slowly you just talk patience and then everything will be clear any other topic any other confusion which is related to the last three classes if anyone yes, has sir, I have... yes yes okay. yes ask brother okay. Uh, sir, if, uh, if there is a uh, uh, gold, bearish engulfing candle, okay, uh, then a strong, uh, strong candle, okay, can can we cons uh, consider this as uh, as uh, three inside down uh, bearish path? Inside down means that a one green candle, the another red candle, which must not break the first green candle open price. If the second candle is breaking, this is your three inside down. If you find a green candle, the first candle is breaking down the open price of the green candle and the next candle is a right one, which is a strong. This is your outside down. So engulfing cannot make a three inside down. Engulfing always makes a three outside down. Yes, yes, thank you, sir. Got it? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Yes, Alicia. Um, I noticed when you were um, marking up your um, your support and resistance levels, you would put it flush with the candles. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering, for the breakouts, are we using the wicks? No. Uh, look at, uh, so how many types of SNR we learned? only we learned the color change right yes there are 19 more Ooh. oh god okay okay so when yeah. we learn about the 19 more then you will understand the complete story of support and resistance okay wow wow okay, wow. Wow. okay? okay so okay. when i am drawing you are thinking the sir teaches the different thing he is drawing the different support and resistance levels What's the change? What's the difference? Are these hiding something? No, because still we've not started the support and resistance to topic. Just I teach you the concept of the support and resistance with the strength and weakness to start okay. the trading. To start the trading. Okay. Okay. 
Thank you. Okay. Okay, so now I think uh, all queries are clear, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. So now we have to start this lesson, okay? So yesterday we learned about the two candlestick patterns and three candlestick patterns. But in the three candlestick patterns, still we have some more patterns. Which are they? The morning star and the evening star three white soldier and three black crows. So morning star, how to read the morning star? I'm drawing the morning star. Can anyone help me to read out this morning star? Okay, read the morning star. Like a statement, like a sentence. The sellers were in control of the market and then they came to, okay, I guess, an agreement. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Another <laughs> member, <laughs> another member. Uh, sellers decrease their power and buyer centers. Okay, look at here. Now, how, how I'm reading, look at. Downtrend, getting weak, buyers control the market. Is it easy? Yes. Downtrend, getting weak, buyers control the market. Very simple. This candle is showing the downtrend. This candle is showing the downtrend getting weak. This candle is showing bias control the market so uptrend getting weak sellers control the market right so this is the reading of the morning star and evening star now there are some characteristics sometimes this candle is breaking this one Sometimes this candle will be reached to this level. Sometimes this green candle will reach to this level. It is possible. For example, it's a red, okay? Another red. Another red. All these red candles, what's showing? A downtrend, right? Yes. Higher downtrend getting weak by the spinning candle. Higher downtrend getting weak by the hammer or pin bar. And here downtrend getting weak by the reversal spinning candle. Or maybe by the inverted hammer or maybe by the hammer, right? Yes. After this getting weak, bias control from here till the sixty percent. How much it's covered? Sixty percent. How much it's covered? Seventy five percent or eighty percent. How much it's cover? 100%. So sometimes you will find this big green candle, it's depend upon the market, how much it's covering. When it will be cover, it's 120%, 110%. Here, it's not breaking this candle, Break broke this candle, it's still in the struggling process so if the candle is breaking means this is the strong pattern this is the strong pattern other are weak pattern as if you see engulfing and piercing line 
and inside bar number wise this pattern is more stronger than piercing line right and inside bar is less strong than the piercing so this is the third number this is the second number this is the first number first number engulfing is stronger second number piercing line is strong third number the inside bar so here this will be the first number strong candle a strong pattern second number strong pattern now how much power if a 75 78 so this will be the third number this will be the fourth number this will be the fifth number you can understand the morning star strength in a this way so same thing will be in a evening star how to trade we will trade like a engulfing waiting for the retracement and then taking the trade same trading plan will be there just understanding reading and how to understand how to estimate the strength of the patron the strength is depend upon the controlling candle so this is which candle it's a controlling candle right is it clear yes sir okay then we have three equal size of the candle which is this pattern three white soldiers three white soldier even there is a wick it does not matter but the body is equal size okay and if you find a big candle then small candle then medium candle this is not a three white soldier The white soldier means all these three candles have the same size. All these candles have a same size. But if it's a sequence, it is not a three white soldier. Three black rows, the three candles have a same size, mostly same size, a little bit difference, it can be counted. But if you see a big candle, then small candle, then this one it's not a black row this is not this is not a three white soldier but this is the correct pattern this is this is how we trade this pattern if the three candles it means it's a sign of continuation the trend will be continued but before going up you will find the weak candle then the next candle will be the green got it here it will be Does the it, weak candle and then the next candle make and continue down so does it matter um how big the retracement candle is yes retracement candle now we will learn about how to know there will be retracement candle and how to know this time the retracement candle will not happen okay so that is main thing how we can identify there will be retracement and how we can identify there will be no retracement so there so there is no rule, but that is the research that how we can identify about the retracement candle. Let's about this patterns is clear. We will go to the retracement now. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If there is a pattern in a row, there is another pattern. The first pattern is a piercing line, which don't have a retracement. The second pattern is engulfing, which don't have a retracement. When the third pattern will form in the market, even it's whatever the pattern, if it's a inside bar, it will not give you the retracement. You can trade, you can identify this will be no retracement. So you have to identify the previous two reference, reference one, reference two, then reference three will be traded. A reference one have a retracement? No. A reference two have a retracement? No. No. Then reference three will not give you the retracement. 
this is the one filter this is the one filter in the chart i'm going to show you right see here in the current market we are going to take okay see here for example this candle have a red candle continuation right this is a candle have a red continuation then after the third it will continue so identify like this but it is not that every time it will it, this is idea okay so understand a one green or whatever the green but last green candle then two red candles last green candle then two red candles then last green candle and one red candle the next expectation will be the red candle but one thing keep in mind if there is a green and two red a green and two red if this pattern is the outside bar then there will be no red candle again if it will be the outside bar then it will not continue so this is not outside bar so outside bar is a reversal sign how i'm going to show you see here one red candle two green right one red candle two green this is what is it outside bar am i right yes so then it will not continue so outside bar now this is another strategy a one green red candle then two green candles one red candle then two green candles and third time if you see the outside bar the next candle will be the red the next candle will be the red okay come here one red candle two green candle one red candle two green candle which is this pattern outside outside is it reversing yes wow. okay see here for example one red candle two green candle one red candle two green candle which is this pattern outside outside yes. bar then it's reversing yeah okay yes see, yes 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 again you can see here for example if we check the reference number 1 right that the price is not reversing back but here which is the pattern outside, outside bar. bar don't trust that it will continue it will reverse back for example look at here one red one green two red okay one red one green two red which is this pattern inside bar inside no it's outside, 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 outside. outside it's reversing yes okay so Sir, previous candle has also outside bar sir yes this is a reference 2 uh -huh. this is a reference 1 right. we are talking on reference number 3 right uh, right sir right clear clear sir clear okay so this is a the reference 1 and reference 2 is a complete structure then the third is your result okay yes sir yes sir fine sir see here for example here we will go a uh, one green and two red one green and two red which is this pattern outside bar is it reversing yes okay again it's the outside bar is it reversing yes but we will take which pattern we will take the third reference a one two 
a third reference we have a set up right we are not taking this one we are taking this one got it yes sir yes sir so outside bar mostly the traders are failing mostly traders are failing understand right a reference one a reference two which is this pattern outside how many times i show you the pattern so many times right mostly traders yes, sir. in my millennial strategy they are trading and they are telling me they are sending me picture sir your strategy is not working the millennial strategy is reference one find the reference one find the reference two and then trade the reference number three always they are losing the trade on the outside bar and they are saying that the price is your strategy is not working but they did not watch the video where i clearly told them don't trade after the outside bar because outside bar it will not continue the engulfing have a different and outside bar have a different characteristics right so understand the outside bar pattern is not a trustable pattern yes it is a continuation pattern of the trend but the outside bar always give you the retracement now this outside bar why, why it's not give you the continue uh, reversal why this outside bar not give you the uh, reversal what's the reason anyone have an answer this outside bar why not give us a re reversal he thinks so because uh, this week of the buyer look at this red candle not broken the wick of this candle right i try it will continue this outside bar not breaking the wick of this candle it will continue so if you think that outside bar is not breaking the wick means it will continue in case if it is breaking the wick it will reverse back so these are all techniques these are all techniques this outside bar is breaking what wick is reversing back but this outside bar is not breaking even it's not reversing sometimes it can fail but mostly these the logics are working okay now one more thing the sequence of the patterns what the sequence of the pattern mostly sometimes you will find outside bar outside bar outside bar one outside bar two outside bar three outside bar sometimes you will find the three patterns together matlab it means that on the first move there will be the same pattern the second move there will be the same pattern the third move there will be the same pattern so sometimes you will find this similarity but sometimes it's not possible okay so understand the similarities what similarities market is based on the similarities i'm going to show you one thing more here i'm going to put a one moving average which is 21 or 20 or whatever come in your mind okay the moving average 21 ema i placed here right when price broke the moving average and broke down and then move up this is a false this is a false right this is a false this is your reference number 1 and then when the price is breaking up coming to the ema and then moving up so this is the complete structure right first it will break that will be false it will move up second time it will touch then it will move up so this is the one portion right is it a one portion right 
Yes, sir. Next time it is breaking, moving up, moving touching up. moving average, then moving up again. It's the same similarity, right? The third time it will come, it will break, it will be false, move up, touch the level, and then again move up. Understood? Same. So similarities. What? Similarities. If you are unable to identify the similarities, you will be not a complete trader. Just I show you the, the simple example. Now, if you ask from anyone that how I can filter the fake breakout on the moving average, no one can tell you the answer. I am going to tell you in case if the first is a fake breakout, the second will be the fake. The third will be the fake, mostly. Right? Come, then another example. It's breaking, then move up, then came down. It's a first fake breakout. Right, wrong? Second time it's breaking, then moving up. A second fake breakout, then third will be 100% fake breakout. Price will move up, then it will move down. It will be not a trend. Don't trip with this uptrend. Again, you can see the price is breaking and then moving down. So these are your references one and two, and then you can trade the three and four. So when you will research in the market, you will identify some same points, same things. And these same things are working everywhere. Okay. So these are the similarities in the market. These similarities you can identify. Okay. Now, price move in up direction. It's broken. This moving average, it's came back. Now we will see if it is touching, then moving up, then it will break, then it will move up, then it will touch, then it will move up. That will be our predictions. Okay. So, if we predict the market movement with the moving average similarities, then it is possible to predict the patterns prediction as per the previous similarities. So understand the similarities. It will clear your 50% understanding of the market. So the patterns I'm going to finish here. No more patterns we are learning. These are enough to trade in the market. Now, one movement I'm going to teach you within 10 minutes, and then we will discuss more on this movement. Let's, I just find the PDF. If, I, if it is available, then I will share with you. Yes, it's available. Okay, so come on the another screen. I'm sharing the another screen. Oh, it's a video. Okay, so it's a video. Wait, wait, wait. No. Okay, so here on the screen, we are going to check. Look at here. This is a movement. It's moving up. Minimum, how many candles it move up? Two are, three candles move up. Then you will find sometimes one candle, sometimes two candles, sometimes three candles. This red candle you will find. When the next green candles come, where it close? It close 
in this resistance level. Then the next candle will be the green. Now you will confuse why you will say, sir, this is a strong SNR. Why it's not reversing? Am I right? Yes. 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 So a strong resistance will reverse in a range market. This is the trend movement. This is a trend. Trend. trend it will continue. It will continue. But if it is a range, it will reverse back. So now understand that how many candles will be back? Three. If so you find three. the three candles, two candles, four candles, this will not reverse. But if there is a one candle, if there is a only one candle, at this point, if the red green candle closes, it will come back. It will reverse back. But if it is a trend, a three candles movement, then it will come, it will touch this area, and then it will move up. But it must not break. It must not break this point. It must be closed under this point. Why? We have this movement, then this movement. This is a zigzag movement. This is what? Zigzag movement. And the zigzag movement must complete their cycle. So we can, if we say there are three parts of this cycle, number one, number two, number three. So it is not possible then the two, two cycle parts will happen and the third will not happen. Definitely the third part will be happy. Okay. So check the another slide for the opposite rate. It's the same, right? It's a continuation sign. Same thing you will find here. And then don't trade. If it this candle is not touching the, this area, don't buy. If this candle is not touching the, this resistance, this support area, don't sell. This candle must touch this support level, then you need to sell. This is the how to not trade, how to avoid the trade. And then when to reverse. Why we are reversing here? Breakout. Break if breakout happens, then you can reverse. So if breakout happens, which will be the 100% that 90% setup? Outside bar is, this is the outside bar, 90% it will reverse back. If it's an angle thing, 80% it will reverse back. So which, tra which trade you will do, you will trade? If it's the outside bar, then trade. Don't take a risk on the angle thing. Only trade if it is outside bar. Then how it will be? It will be good, right? Yes. So look at yes. how we are gathering the strategies together. Outside bar concept I teach you. Now that same concept we are going to put into a, as a filter in this strategy. That outside bar always reversing back. So why we are not using at this area a outside bar breakout, right? And then this is a sale and this will be the buy. Mostly trade if it is outside bar. When not to trade? If you see the open price is breaking, but the wick is not breaking, don't enter the trade. So this is an angle thing. This is with pattern, angle thing. I'm not suggesting don't trade on the angle. Thing. Here, this is not breaking. 
it's closed on this thing. Maybe it will not continue. Maybe it will reverse. There are chances. Okay. So this is the PDF. This PDF I'm going to share with you people. And there is a video. Also, I'm sharing the video. Okay. So this will be your second strategy to apply the concept. Why I'm sharing the concept with the strategies? Because I want that you must be able to apply these strategies in the market. Okay. So if you fi find the confusion, then I will clear all the confusions. Okay. Sir, so, I have a confusion, sir. Yes, ask another. Uh, slide number four. Hmm. Slide number. Slide number four, right? Can you? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Uh, no, this is not sir. Uh, not to trade on setup. Okay. Down, down. Number five. This is a continuation yeah, setup yes, which sir, we are not buy, uh, buying. <laughs> Okay. After this green candle, hmm. if a green candle forms hmm. under the red candle, hmm. then what will happen, sir? Under the red candle yeah. means what? After this green candle, this previous green candle, this if a green candle forms, yes, okay. this green candle, it closes here. Green candle, if a green candle, yes, yes, yes. After this green candle, a green candle forms and blows here. Yeah. Okay, the second green candle, right? After the candle. Okay, I got your question. If the second green candle forms, right? Yes, yes, yes. Sir. And then what? Under the red candle. Yes. Yes, yes. Now ask from the buyers why they are very weak. Why they are not breaking the first red candle within the two times? What yes. the buyers are selling or telling you? Uh, they are weak. Actually, mm, they are, not they are telling they are, we are weak. We are, unable yes, to, yes. we are unable to break the candle. So now this is the double top pattern. So market will move down again. Yes, is right, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So, so we will yes, ask sir. from, look at, if we are not understanding, we will ask from the buyers and sellers. Tell us. Why you are not trying to continue or why you are reversing? They will give us an answer. One thing keep in mind. Yes. Sir. Which is very important. If you are feeling yourself inside the market means you are, a, you are understanding the market. But if you are feeling that you are sitting outside the market means market is still not accepting you. Got it? Got it, sir. So if you when when you will be able that when you when you feel that you are inside when we the market, are able to understand. Yes, yes, you are inside the market. You are a, because when you will trade the sale means you are a seller, right? Yes. When we are buy, we are a buyer. But where we are in this chart? But if we are hunting outside the market means still we are not inside in the market. So we must be feel ourselves inside the market. Then these buyers and sellers will talk with you. Then they will give you the line. Then they will give you the information that now what we need to do, what we are going to do after five minutes, what we will go, what we will do, then they will talk with you. But if you are outside the market, then you will understand. But when the market will complete the uh, movements, then they will give you the information. So we must be a proactive in this market. Okay. So make a friendship in, inside the buyers and sellers, which is in, available in the chart. So here, this slide I shared, the video also I shared, and then uh, you have to uh, practice on it on this strategy as well as on the another strategies. Tomorrow we will learn about the psychological pattern. Psychological patterns are very important. Why they are important? See here.
if you will understand the psychological pattern, all these trades will be your winning trades. Every trade will be your winning trade in this cycle. How many candles are there? There are 10 to 15 candles. So 10 to 15 winning trades you can place in this market. Where it's very uh, looking that it's very difficult to predict because one green, two red, two green, one red, how we can understand why they are happening. So this will be very clear understanding you will find in the psychological patterns. And these psychological patterns are very important in the trading. A prediction, a 50% power they will give you in a prediction what will be the next candle. So tomorrow we will complete the psychological pattern, right? Yes, any question? Yes. Sir, uh, on the previous one, the what is it called? The strategy which you showed right now. Mm -hmm. uh, the SNR, if it's not breaking immediately, therefore it's invalid, right? The strategy. The SNR, example. If it, SNR if it's breaking completely the no, no, no. open and then the close price the high price no I mean no I mean to say that this big green candle didn't happen but it happened later onwards the strategy doesn't work there on the second candle or the first candle uh, the green one the second one second one it's breaking again you can trade the first one is breaking you can trade the third one is breaking you can trade whatever the candle which which candle is trying to break you can trade. Now, the, I, I meant uh, there is five minutes gap. There is candle bit going down, bit up. It's ranging over there. Then it got a breakout after five minutes of candle. Yes. In case if there are less than eight candles, then you can, if it's breaking, then you can reverse. But if you got find it. that it's more than the eight to 10, then if it's breaking, then you go with the buy. Got it. Sir. Got it? Yes, sir. So five candles is very important. So this is which topic? Why? Uh, Eight to ten. Why? Why I'm calling these uh, some candles, uh, five candles are what? So we have, a, we, have a, we have a topic. This one. Oh. This topic we have to learn. DPT. Okay. So these are the four things. The drop, base drop. So this is a drop. Oh base and drop rally base rally rally base drop drop base rally these things we need to understand so now this is a topic from the supply and demand okay this topic is based in the supply and demand so in the supply and demand when we will move to the supply and demand we will learn what the complete structure of the supply and demand, the structure of the congestion market means consolidation market. One. And then we will understand about the SMD structure where we will learn about the RBR, or, uh, what is the rally, what is the drop, what is the base, how we can count it. Okay. So these are oh. things we will learn here. And also the supply and demand with the volume. Got it, so we will learn but this is another topic so one by one we will go right yes sir yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. okay so don't confuse where you feel the confusion immediately tell me i don't want that you uh you, you must be with all the members they come together in the uh, every topic so every topic yes. all they when you will complete all then we will move on the next stage. Okay. Don't think about the time. I don't have an issue about the time. If one day, two day, three day, if taken more in the course, I don't have a, any issue. Right. But I want that you must understand each and every point. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you so much. So we'll meet you tomorrow, inshallah, at the same time. Uh, thank, you. thank you. Thank you, sir. Can you share the video, sir? This video already shared. Uh, the video of uh, uh, this strategy is shared, but this video I'm going to share after 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. Uh -huh.
Yes, sir. Previous, ah. previous day, day three videos, sir. Already shared. Watch the, yeah. watch the uh, drive. Their video is shared. Only I just not shared the link, okay. but the video is shared already. Always you check the folder. You will find the video there, right? Okay, sir. Okay, thank you, thank you.